and welcome back. You find me in the final stages of the creation of this piece of work. Um, I'm getting it ready for a, a significant um, artist meet that's happening in less than two weeks from the date of this filming. Uh, so panic has set in. Um, and I've been going at this for quite some time, this particular piece, because there's been a large number of stages. And I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the um, story behind what I'm doing here. So it's based upon the story of Berenice. Berenice was the wife of one of the pharaohs in Egypt. And when the pharaoh went off to war, she cut off her hair and offered it up to the gods to ensure his safe return. So eventually he did return safely and everybody was rejoicing, but the king wanted her hair. Um, but when they couldn't find her hair, he was furious. So um, he was going to slaughter everybody. So the pharaoh's astronomer told the pharaoh that the gods had accepted her hair and as a result had created a new constellation of stars in this night sky. And indeed there is a constellation of stars called Berenice on which this is based. And um, yeah, everybody was, was more than happy. So I thought that was a rather romantic story. And also this particular piece is going to be sh on show for the first time in the window of a hairdresser's because we're doing this great art trail that's in all the shop windows in Cockermouth and, and is to help get people into the town, and etc. It's a great community project that we're doing. Um, so for me, there's been a lot of firsts in here because this, I normally do abstracts. So this is really one of my first real figurative pieces. Um, I've never used one of those Mirix looms before, uh, used a particular technique, gone so big, used these particular type of beads. Um, and now we're in the final stages and it can still go wrong. It can still go wrong. So I'm going to do hundreds and hundreds of stitches to attach this to this canvas. And fingers crossed, after all this work, when we tip it up, it's all going to be stable. The canvas isn't going to rip etc because it's quite quite heavyweight on here so um, maybe if you come back then and we'll see how that progress how, how much progress I have made and if it's going to work so fingers crossed um, it's who's, who said art oh, was was uh, relaxing I don't know I don't know it's, it's quite quite a challenge okay so um, see you in a few minutes and so we're back a few hours later um, quite a number of stitches later and here it is it's now all ready to be framed um, more than 10,000 seed beads and a romantic story included in that so uh, hope to see you again same time same place